Hi, I'm Mike, Poketips Mike, and throughout the years, many Pokemon games have been released. Once these games start to get really old, sometimes Game Freak likes to remake them and put them on the latest, greatest Nintendo gaming system, updating them to be more like the modern Pokemon games of the time. And with a whole new game comes a whole new Pokédex to complete, which is never an easy task. So if you played all the way through one of these remake games and managed to complete the Pokédex, what kind of rewards would you get, and what would the professor say? Well, let's start things off with Pokémon Fire Red and Leaf Green versions, the first ever Pokémon remakes. <laughs> Before these games came out, there was kind of a problem in the world of Pokémon. Ruby and Sapphire were the new games of the time, and while they were fantastic games, you could only get about 200 Pokémon in them without going to any special events. That means there were 186 more Pokémon, mostly Kanto and Johto region Pokémon, that you just could not obtain in these games at all. And for the first time ever in Pokémon, these games were not backwards compatible, meaning that Pokémon you had in Gold and Silver version couldn't have been traded over to Ruby and Sapphire to help you complete your Pokédex. But never fear, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green version came out, and they were basically the solution to the problem, letting you get every Kanto Pokemon except Mew, and a lot of Johto region Pokemon as well. These games retold the story of Pokemon Red and Blue, and brought the graphics and the music up to the Generation 3 standard. If you managed to capture all of the Pokemon, this is what would have happened when you completed your Pokédex. Good to see you. How is your Pokédex coming along? Here, let me take a look. The amount of progress you've made on your Pokédex is 151 Pokémon seen and 151 Pokémon owned. Professor Oak's rating? Your Pokédex is entirely complete! Congratulations! And your national Pokédex is 386 Pokémon seen and 386 Pokémon owned. Finally! You finally completed the Pokédex! It's magnificent! Truly, this is a fantastic feat! Roar! Thank you, Poketip! Sincerely, thank you! You've made my dream a reality! Alright, now that is a lot more like it. I remember in the original Red and Blue, Professor Oak, you know, he was excited, but he wasn't too excited. In this game, this man literally let out a ROAR! Although, Professor Oak, it would be nice if you would give us this starter Pokémon, it's just sitting here on the table doing nothing. Not like we're really gonna need it, though, we have a completed Pokédex, but still. And of course, like usual in any game where we could go to Kanto, we've gotta go to Celadon City and go visit Game Freak. Alright, I believe it's this man standing right over here, let's talk to him. Wow, excellent! You completed your Pokédex, congratulations! Dot dot dot. And we get a nice little diploma, so this is the one for the National Pokédex, and here is the one for completing the Kanto Region Pokédex. Now, <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the way the diploma looks in this game. I feel like the Pokémon are kind of hidden and they blend really well into the backgrounds. Although you can see Pikachu, you can see Torchic, and you can see a few berries over there. So it's kind of cute, I just wish the Pokémon were a little bit bolder. Oh, and last but not least, we can't forget, we also get a nice star on the trainer card for completing the Pokédex. So the rewards aren't crazy in this game, but I think Professor Oak's roar makes it all worth it. The next Pokémon remake games to come out were Pokémon Heart Gold and Soul Silver version, remakes of the original Gold and Silver games. Unlike Fire Red and Leaf Green, we didn't need these games to be able to complete the Pokédex at the time. Between the Generation 3 Game Boy Advanced, GameCube games, and Generation 4 games, you were able to capture all of the Pokémon minus the Mythicals and complete your Pokédex. However, in 2009 and 10, when these games were coming out, there was a big problem with the older Pokémon Gold and Silver games. The battery that kept your save files started dying, and a lot of people were losing their Pokémon Gold and Silver save files forever. And because of that, a lot of Pokémon fans wanted to see the Johto games remade on the Nintendo DS, and Game Freak went ahead and gave it to us. After completing the Heart Gold and Soul Silver Pokédex, this is what happens. Alright, so we're here with Professor Elm, and I love the music in this game for his lab, it's so cheery. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk to Professor Elm right now. I remember in Gold and Silver he did not care at all, let's see if he cares a little bit this time. Poketip? I thought the egg hatched! Where is the Pokémon? 
Poketip. I'm truly surprised. I can't believe that such a great trainer has been so close by all this time. You've been helping me understand what it means to walk with Pokemon. It is that. There is no end to the relationship between people and Pokemon. Let me thank you once again for your support. Well, he thanked me for walking around with my Pokemon, but still no recognition at all that I completed the Pokedex. Professor Elm, I don't even know what to do with you, man. So back to Pallet Town we go. I feel like I was just here a moment ago in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Let's see what Oak has to say in this game. So, how was your Pokedex coming along? Hmm, let's see. You've seen 493 Pokémon, and you've caught 493 Pokémon. I see! Excellent! That is an amazing National Pokédex! Wow, you've lived up to my expectations wonderfully! No, you've exceeded them, Poketip! You've become an amazing trainer! Thank you, Poketip! You never cease to amaze me! Your having completed the National Pokédex far exceeded my expectations! Meeting you is something I will cherish all my life long! Say, don't you want to take a picture with me for a change? Professor Oak wants me to take a picture with him for completing the National Pokedex. That's incredible. You will. Good. Are you ready? Oh my god. Oh my god. We're actually taking a picture with Professor Oak right now. <laughs> yes, it's a good memento. Again, he doesn't give us anything special here, but we do get to take a picture with Professor Oak, which I think is the most special thing of them all. And of course, for completing the Pokedex in this game, you get a nice little star on your trainer card, and we're going to our favorite place, the Celadon Condo, so we can talk to the Game Freak people. Okay, we're at the Game Freak headquarters once again, and I think this is the guy we need to talk to over here. Wow, you did it! You have filled up the Johto Pokedex! Impressive, I'm amazed! I will reward you for that! Seriously! And ooh, that's a nice looking diploma right there. This document certifies that you have made the great achievement of catching all the Pokemon in Johto. Signed Game Freak. But wait, there's more. You must be the genius of the century! Seriously! Game Freak will give you an award and prove it's the truth. And now this is the beautiful diploma that we get for completing the National Pokedex with Lugia and Ho-Oh. Our third series of Pokemon Remake games are Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Around the time where these games came out, it was kind of just expected for Game Freak to keep putting out Pokemon Remakes, and since Red and Blue and Gold and Silver already got remakes, people were asking for Ruby and Sapphire to get remade as well. Here's what happens when you complete the Pokedex in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and it definitely gets very interesting here. Oh, have you come to show me how your Pokedex is coming along? Alright, so we'll show him the Hoenn Region Pokedex first. Mm hmm hmm it looks as though you've spotted 211 different Pokemon here in Hoenn. Why, congratulations! You've seen all the Pokemon in the Hoenn Pokedex. You've been meeting new Pokemon at a good clip, haven't you? Here, take this little reward for all your hard work. Oh, he says the same thing that the other professors do when he gives you the Oval Charm, but hey, we get the Oval Charm in this game. Not a bad item to have. If you're holding an Oval Charm, you'll have a better chance of finding an egg at the Pokemon Daycare. Alright, let's show him the National Pokedex now, the big one. You've caught a total of 721 kinds of Pokemon. Fantastic! And 211 of those Pokémon belong in the Hoenn Pokédex! Oh, what's this? This is just fantastic! You've caught every kind of Pokémon in the Hoenn region! Congratulations to you! You've completed the Pokédex! I am overwhelmed! My decision to give you that Pokédex I'd ordered was wholly justified! This completed Pokédex is a testament to your hard work, and to the support of the many who helped you, and to the bonds you have built with your Pokémon! It is a unique treasure! You've been meeting new Pokémon at a good clip, haven't you? Here, take this as a little reward for all your hard work. Holding a shiny charm will improve your chances of finding a shiny Pokémon. Supremely amazing! Congrats on completing the Pokédex! 
Well, the rewards are definitely better in this game than they were in Ruby and Sapphire, where he gave you all of nothing. And I also can't really blame him for not giving you a Johto starter here like he does in Emerald, because he gives it to you at a different point in this game. So now, let's go to Lily Cove City and check on Game Freak. Cove Lily Motel. Remember us as Cove Lily of Lily Cove. That sounds easy enough to remember, but what I really like about this place is all the references to Pokemon Sun and Moon here. Now, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out before Pokemon Sun and Moon, but that didn't stop Game Freak from hiding a few Easter eggs in here, like this poster of a Lolan Executor on the wall. Now, if we go upstairs, we'll find even more references when we talk to the Diploma Man. Alright, I think it's this guy running around with a tail that we need to talk to over here. I'm the game director! Oh, let me see your Pokedex. Whoa! You registered all of Hoenn's Pokémon! You did it! This is spectacular! You have to let me reward you! Well, we don't really have much of a choice, but here we get our first diploma! This document certifies that you have successfully completed your Pokedex. Congratulations on your achievement! And here we could also see the second subtle little reference to Pokemon Sun and Moon versions. If you look at Trico, Torchic, and Mudkip, they're all either holding or wearing Lays, which are a Hawaiian wreath that we see commonly in the Alola region. There was even a Pokemon inspired by this called Comfy. I remember I noticed this when Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out, but I didn't really think too much of it at the time. Looking back on it now, it's very cool how they were hinting at the next games here. I'll send this special certificate to your secret PC for ya. Put it on the wall in your secret base. And if we talk to him one more time, he'll also give us the National Dex Diploma. Let's check it out. And that looks gorgeous. So not only do they give us a diploma in this game, but they also let us hang it up in our secret base, which is really cool and a nice flex that you could show to your friends. And last but not least, of course, you know the deal, the trainer card changes color as well. And finally, we get to the most recent Pokemon remakes at the time that I'm making this video, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. These games retold the story of Pokemon Yellow version, which was originally a remake of Pokemon Red and Blue version. So in a way, these games are a remake of a remake that already got remade with Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. That definitely sounds confusing, but what's not confusing is completing the Pokedex in these games. Unlike every other Pokemon game remake on this list, these games only have 153 total Pokemon, with three of those Mew, Meltan, and Melmetal not even being required for you to get the Pokedex rewards. So if you're ever looking for a game where it's not terribly challenging to complete the Pokedex, these are the games to do it in, and this is what happens when you complete the Pokedex. Once again, we're back in Pallet Town for the third time in this video. We go to Kanto a lot in these remakes. Anyway, let's talk to Professor O. Good to see you, and how is your Pokedex coming along? Here, let me take a look. Your current progress on your Pokedex is 153 Pokemon seen and 153 Pokemon caught. And Professor Oak's judgment is, you've completed a perfect Pokedex. Congratulations. You've done it. You've really, truly done it now. You've completed a perfect, complete Pokedex. It's magnificent. Truly, this is a fantastic feat. Roar! Thank you, Poketips 2. I sincerely thank you. You've made my dream a reality. Alright, let's go talk to the game director one more time. Wow, excellent! You completed your Pokedex! So wonderful! Congratulations! Please allow me to honor you with an award! And here is our diploma for Let's Go Pikachu version. This is what the one for Let's Go Eevee looks like. This is a special gift from me. You got a shiny charm from the director. Very nice to have that in a Kanto game. Show your Pokedex to the developers too. And with that, my friends, we've now covered what happens when you complete the Pokedex in every single Pokemon game. Except, you know, like spin-off games, maybe I'll talk about those someday, but shh. So now, we wait for Pokemon Sword and Shield, but if you're watching this in the future, then I've already done that video and you could check it out right now. 
However, if you're in the past like I am right now, go ahead and click on any of the other videos I have on the screen. I'm sure there's something you'll like. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't already, give it a thumbs up right now, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more of my content. As always, my friends, thanks so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.